one of the most sort of famed photographers of the modeling industry is Terry Richardson, right? And he has had sexual harassment to, or claims against him over and over and over again, yet it seems that you're not a model unless you get photographed by Terry Richardson. Now, just using him as an example or as, as a sort of symbol of someone who thrives in the industry, yet there's all of these specific sexual predatory complaints about him. Is that generally how it works, that if you have enough clout in the industry, you can exist even though you do those things consistently or abuse your position? You're not in your head. Well, he has. <laughs> He's yeah. still existing. Uh, I think almost every model has had an encounter with him, whether it be good or bad. I would say the majority are uh, complaints, though. I, uh, most girls that I've talked to, whether or not they even shot with him, had done something compromising or had been asked to do something compromising. Um, myself, I knew when I was going to meet him, when I was going for a casting, I had already seen his books. I was very well aware of who he was, so I was prepared. But my agency also poised me, being like, you know, this guy, he's a really good photographer. If you shoot with him, it's going to take you this, this, and there. And, you know, obviously you want to make a good impression. Had I not been a little older of age and um, maybe one of these younger girls who the agency's also telling them um, these to, to make a good impression. Make a good, make a good impression, which can imply several a things lot of to regrets. a young mind when you're, when you're being compromised. Yes. So he has this caliber and is able to get away with it because, like we said, we don't have sexual harassment yes. protections. There's nobody you can even tell, even if you tell your agency, they don't want to rock the boat because they don't want to ruin their relationship with this great photographer who might book one of the other girls who is going to take off her top, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's and, it, and it goes beyond taking off your top. We're talking about, <laughs> yes. you know, nice. serious, <laughs> you know, allegations of sexual assault and mm -hmm. abuse. Um, and I have worked with Terry Richardson uh, several times, and I, I wouldn't work with him again, based really? on those experiences. Yeah. Now, is this uh, is this because of he because he propositions, or because he just asks you to get into compromising positions as a, as, as a model? He it's well known mm -hmm. within the industry that you know at his castings, and I you know I haven't worked with him in a while. I don't know if he's still Absolutely. doing this, but um, you know he will. Uh, you're going to a casting to. Uh, possibly shoot with him for Harper's Bazaar, who's one of his clients. Um, you know, that's a, that's a, legitimate, that's a yeah. legitimate job. Uh, and, and he will ask you to take your clothes off at the casting and in some, in some cases, uh, you know, uh, give him sexual favors. And, wow. and I've spoken with other models who've been in these situations and he makes you feel like you're being a prude, or you're somehow weird if you're not willing to just go with the flow because it's all it's all cool, it's all fine, and you know, and but it's it takes, not all cool and it's not no, all fine because it's at not. the end of the day, if you don't do these favors, you don't get photographed by Terry Richardson, you don't end up in Harper's Bazaar. So it's not all cool and not all fine, right? It's not like this cool free love thing. It's actually a, a business ton of proposal. Pressure, yeah. yeah, yeah, and and. The choice between an uncomfortable sexual situation and your job, that's the definition of sexual harassment. Mm -hmm. And th that happens frequently in our industry. I was just going to say, this is one photographer that we're talking about, but how often does this happen with photographers, with people in the industry? I think most people are professional. We're not trying to hate on the industry, but there are people who abuse their power. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's weird. It's like... There are people who abuse their power in any industry, but because this industry happens to trade in, I would say, the female body for the most part, it ends up being a little bit more degrading at times in the way that people abuse their power, right? Yeah, and there's this code of silence. No one, no one wants to talk about it because you have to kind of grab the brass ring while you can. Our careers are very short-lived. Sometimes mm -hmm. we're just working for a couple of years before we age out at the ripe old age of 21 or whatever. So, you know, there's a lot of pressure to just keep your head down, not say anything. How do you file, since you're not federally protected, how do you file a sexual harassment claim if you are sexually harassed by someone? Well, what we've done at the model, actually the very first thing we did when we mm -hmm. set up the organization is we, uh, we established a discrete grievance reporting service. Mm -hmm. So our members or any model can contact us and we can provide assistance, we can give advice, we can field complaints, uh, we can give you a lawyer if you need one. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, 
and, and, and people have been using that service. So um, we, we hope that people will come to us um, and, and realize that they're not alone and that it's important to speak out because if you don't, other, you know, they, that kind of abuse will continue.